Hello, in this video we're going to discuss how to use Excel as an input and output um, device for our code. So the main purpose of um, using Excel is to have an easy way to um, have an input area and an output area for a code and we're going to implement our code using Visual Basic. The code that you saw, uh, that you see in the macros is actually Visual Basic and uh, this is going to be a very simple demonstration how to read and write from and to uh, Excel. So we're going to start with the, with the macro and uh, again the macro to start is going to be uh, the command to start will be control Q and this is going to be a macro that actually does nothing. So when I press Alt F11 and I go to see my code. My code is empty. It just have now. We can start to see how this code code works. Um, these apostrophes at the beginning of the sentence make just comments, and the comment is the macro is named macro three, and the shortcut is control Q. Um, now I can make code here. Now uh, you will need to understand the essential. Uh, commands in Excel, but um, uh, managing the variables are very easy in Excel in, in Visual Basic. Uh, say for instance um, you call a variable just x, okay, and the other variable is going to be name. And let's say that those um, those variable x, the variable x is coming from our um, spreadsheet I don't know exactly the position so I'm gonna leave by the moment the empty the range uh, a specific cell but I want to know as you can see this is an object oriented programming as you as you press dot you have some alternatives of what you can include so if I press dot and uh, it recognizes range is a keyword uh, within Excel and what I want is the value, okay? The value inside the cell. There are many things you can change about a cell. You can change the size, the width, and the height. You can change the color. You can change the f the the type of um, um, frame or boundaries that it shows, um, and and the values for the font and etc. You can change all that. Um, but uh, we're not going to do work on any of that just for you to know that you can change that within the program and um, that's uh, and then I'm going to have another variable name or let's say my name my name is equal and I'm also going to go range dot value now these are not complete because we are not uh, sure where they are located so let's go back to Excel and let's say that I'm interested in copying this name and this number and the name is on B4 and the number is in C4 and what I can do is uh, I can say B4 Sorry, before, and that should be in between parentheses or C4. Actually, I should have gone the other way around. My name is in B4, and X is in C4. Right. So now, with that, with those two steps, the contents in the cell are stored in a in a variable within the program, and then I can make the uh, uh, alternative operation, which could be if that would be reading into the program the information in Excel. Now I can print the information that I have in the program into Excel, and I would do that by saying. Um, the opposite. Rem in Excel, this in Visual Basic, the assignments go from right to left. So now I'm going to assign somewhere in some cell. I'm going to assign the value that I have stored in X. Okay. Let's see where can I store them. Let's say that I want to store them in G4. So 
So all I have to do is now take type uh, G4 and that should assign the number and let's say that <coughs> I want to assign my name the content of the variable my name into H4 and that's all my program so these operations reads from the spreadsheet this operation writes into the spreadsheet. I can go to my spreadsheet and press Ctrl Q and there you go. It reads and writes those values. Sometimes uh, we would like to have an alternative way to define where is the information that we want and in those circumstances, we would like to have uh, a variable that actually defines the address. In the, at this time, the information starts at before. So when we access the code, um, maybe we would like to, let's say that uh, I, I have a variable, say my address, that's the name of my, my variable. And in that variable, I'm going to have B5. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the information, say x2 is on a read from range. And now I don't have to go look where, where the information is. I just need value. And as opposed to typing uh, the value b5 in between uh, double apostrophes, what I would do is I type my address. And that way he would read where it is. And now it's reading B5 and then I can use uh, my name to is equal to now I'm going to do a different trick which is range. I'm going to keep my address there now of course you're already thinking uh, well that's not where the name is the name is um, actually the name is in my address but the number is not in my address the number is in uh, Then the same row. That means that I need I don't need to displace any row, but it's in the in the next column. So what this is going to do is it's going to go to B5, and after it goes to B5, it will offset the location by zero rows remaining in the fifth row and one column going to column number s or column C. So now I'm I am extracting the value from C5 and I stored in X2 right and I can print out to range and I can use that same my address to print out the value of X2 as long as I say offset within the same row maybe five columns and I print uh, and I store the value there and then I can copy this same command and just displace one more column all the way to column six to um, print the value of my name 2. Okay, that's my code. I can go now to my original spreadsheet, press Ctrl Q. And there you go. It displays from, uh, from B5, 5 columns to print uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 columns to print x2 
and then from that b b5 six columns one two three four five six columns to print uh, my name too.